Hi Aaron, this is your friend Scott Poole from Corpus Christi and I just wanted to give you an update on the cane that we harvested together last year in uh, 2018. What we have here is I've got a little bit that I harvested this, this year, uh, 2019, and you can see how it's still very green. And this is a stalk here from, from yours uh, last year. And you can see how it's already starting to dry and become yellow. Um, I'm going to take this to school and I'm going to cut it all up and show you what we do uh, from here. The next step after taking the uh, individual cones into the workshop is to cut away each individual module. It's a fairly easy process that doesn't have to be terribly exact. We're just wanting to cut away each nodule. Once the individual segments have been cut away and the nodules are gone, we find the straightest segment of 120 millimeters. This would be for this particular piece it would be right about here. And I just marked this with a sharpie because that's where I'll make the next cut. We move to the next piece, which is a fairly straight piece, but right here is the straightest section. Again, 120 millimeters. If we find a piece like this that is very curved, where there really isn't 120 millimeters of straight section, this is then discarded. It will not become a reed. So, once we've found the straightest part of the cane of each uh, section, we're going to cut it into individual tubes. And there's our 120 millimeters too. And every once in a while you find a piece that is uh, long enough and straight enough to get two out of, out of one section. Now we have two tubes. And after cutting all the tubes, we end up with uh, two crates worth of tubes that will sit for another year before they are ready to be split and made into reeds. So until then, happy drying.